Hello everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood Master Jedi with another Hot Toys 1 6 scale collectible figure review. And today we're gonna take a look at Commander Cody from Revenge of the Sith. As you can see in front of you, we have the box. It is nice, uh, black and gray with the picture of the figure on the front. The letters are nice and glossy silver. Uh, then there is the cardboard that comes with the figure as well, but there is not much else to say. It's just a box and it's not why you're here. So uh, let's just jump in and take a look at the accessories that the figure comes with. And here in front of you, we have all the accessories that Cody comes with. We have the hands, we have the blasters, we have the jetpack, we have the light up feature, the holograms and the head sculpt, as well as the display base over there. Uh, first, let's take a look at the hands. And as you can see, they are nicely sculpted, um, especially the armor piece right here. It is very nicely painted. Um, whether the battle damage is nice and visible um, and all the left hands have the same pattern on the armor piece and all the right hands have the same pattern on the armor piece as well the black here is you know just just black there is no wash there is no detail there's no texturing it's just black it doesn't need to be uh, any more detailed than it already is and now let's take a look at the blasters. And first up, we have the DC-17. Um, and I think this one was popularized in uh, the Clone Wars that came out in 2008. Uh, it's nice that they included this piece. It's very nicely sculpted. It's very clean. Um, but if I had one complaint, it would be about the paint application. There is very little uh, weathering, very little battle damage. Um, this looks like it was straight out of the manufacturing line, but I guess uh, I guess it's fine. It's just an additional piece that you can use for your uh, Cody. Uh, you don't have to display it with him, and you know it's just an additional additional piece of accessory. Uh, it looks very nice, other than the fact that it's not weathered enough to my liking. But that's just nitpicking. Um, next up, we have the DC. Uh, this E15S uh, blaster carbine and this piece is gorgeous it's amazingly painted and um, there is even like some weathering some um, some dry brushing all over it um, if I had one complaint about this entire piece uh, it would be this part over here um, I, I'm sorry the camera is not focusing very well uh, it's this piece right here because it doesn't go all the way over the grip. Um, this is supposed to be a stock uh, for this weapon and it doesn't go over the grip. I know that Sideshow has done these clone figures before and they managed to have this part go over the grip uh, and act like a stock, so I don't know why they didn't do it here with Hot Toys. Um, you know, it's just, if you're not gonna make the part, the movable part work as it should work, then maybe just have it fixed. Uh, don't give me hope when I take it out of the box and start moving it that I can uh, display it differently uh, than it already is. But, you know, it's just nitpicking. It still looks gorgeous. It's nicely painted, nicely weathered. Uh, there's dry brushing all over it. Um, looks clean. Uh, okay, so now taking a look at the... Uh, DC-15A rifle. It's a big piece. Uh, again, very nicely sculpted, very nicely weathered and dry brushed. Uh, looks like it's been through a scuffle or two. No movable parts on this one. Um, it's very heavy though, so if you have a Commander Cody or you're planning to get one, I would advise caution when displaying him with this piece because it might have a negative impact on the... Uh, on the joints, on the articulation points of the figure later down the line. Anyway, pretty cool, very nice piece, very nicely detailed. Uh, let's move on. Next up we have the jetpack and also very nicely sculpted, uh, good paint application. It has this sort of off-white uh, color to it, which makes it look like it's been used a couple of times. Uh, nice bronze here and it attaches with with a magnet so you can take it off and put it on 
uh, whenever you like. Uh, the magnet is pretty strong and it attaches into the right place so you don't have to move it around to have it look exactly like you want it to look. Pretty cool. Uh, then I'm gonna talk a little bit about this light up feature. I don't like these. And I don't like this one in particular because it's very hard to get to the battery compartment which is behind uh, these platings here. Um, it's super hard to remove this and I just don't want to do it because I'm afraid I'm going to break this plate. Uh, this Hortal projector looks a little worse than I'm used to when it comes to to Hot Toys. The uh, detail on this one is not that good. Um, we got one as a separate accessory with the Qui-Gon figure and it looked much, 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 much better. Uh, this is just, in my opinion, a waste of an accessory. This should just be uh, as a separate hand and a separate accessory in the whole thing without the light-up gimmick. I don't use it. I don't like it. It's whatever. Next up, we have the uh, holograms. I'm just going to pick one. They all look fairly similar. Um, honestly, these look a little bit worse than the ones we got with the Qui-Gon figure, but they don't look that bad. Um, honestly, you can use them. Um, they get the job done. And the only character that you would maybe have to uh, squint a little bit and get closer to see who it was is, is this one, is Obi-Wan. But other than that, they get the job uh, done. And we get Obi-Wan, we get uh, Sidious, uh, focus, yeah, Sidious, we get the the airborne trooper, the camera will focus, and we get Yoda, very small, whoops, very small, and I, I don't know if the camera is focused, yeah, there we go. And last but not least, before we take a look at the display, um, a quick look at the head sculpt uh we're going to talk a little bit about this uh later so just showing it off a little bit here because it is an accessory and looks absolutely gorgeous but more about this later um there are two more accessories that came with uh cody but i have them already attached to the figure to the armor and to the helmet so we'll take a look at those later now the display stand if i can just get it um, with as with all these Hot Toys figures, it comes with this um, metal nameplate. It's a Star Wars Commander Cody, but unlike with the most uh, Hot Toys Star Wars figures, it comes with a sculpted uh, base and it looks very nice. It looks like proper dirt or sand, I think, to mimic uh, either uh, Utapau or Utapau. I don't know how we say that, um, and um, maybe Geonosis, although. Cody was not part of the first uh, Battle of Geonosis, he was part of the second one. Then again, they are launching their Clone Wars uh, line, so maybe that was the intention behind the base, so you could use it as both from Revenge of the Sith and the Clone Wars, depending on what you would want. Anyway, now let's just jump right into the figure itself, because that's the most important part, and take a look at that. And here we have Commander Cody standing straight in the light box without any posing and he looks absolutely fantastic. The entire armor looks just great. The off-color white makes it look like he has been using it for a couple of for a couple of years. Uh, the orange parts and stencils were just done amazingly. And the smudges and scorch marks, they look a little bit flat. We're going to punch in a little bit and um, I'm going to give you a closer look at those and uh, tell you what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, honestly, he looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, the attention to detail, even to the smallest parts of the figure, is just uh, stunning. Um, I'm going to turn the figure around now and give you a look at the back of the figure and then we're going to punch in, uh, take a closer look at the helmet and we are going to take a closer look at the two accessories that I was talking about. And here we have the back of Cody and as you can see the detail does not 
go away on the back of the figure. Uh, it goes all throughout. It is detailed on the back and on the front and even on this little part here. Uh, that is normally covered by the jetpack, which I will now show in action since we're looking at the back of the figure. Uh, it just attaches to the back like so. And there we have it. There, that's how you attach the jetpack to Cody. There is no futzing, no, no unnecessary moving around. The magnet is strong and it holds it in place. Now I'm going to turn the figure around and we're going to take a closer look at the helmet and at the two accessories that we haven't talked about yet. So now with Cody in my hands, I can talk a little bit about the accessories. The first accessory is over here. It attaches to the pauldron and it's very small and fragile. So I didn't feel like taking it out just to uh, show it in the accessory segment. So here it is. And here is the other accessory. It's on the helmet. It also attaches to the helmet. And again, it's small and fragile. They both look amazing. Apparently it's called the range finder, both of those pieces. Uh, so yeah, other than that, um, I wanted to talk I wanted to talk a little bit about the smudges that uh, Cody has on his armor. In my opinion, they look a bit flat. They look like they've been painted on. They don't look like actual smudges and scorch marks and battle damage. However, from the distance, um, if you look at the figure from the distance, they look pretty good. And there is uh, some amazing discoloration on the pauldrons. And just, it looks like this has been scratched up, banged up, and damaged. So I'm not going to complain too much. It looks pretty good and honestly just gets the do job done. So yeah. And now the helmet of the figure. It looks absolutely amazing and uh, stunning. The detail is everywhere they got everything right just two little like crevices and stuff like that it just absolutely looks amazing and um it has a it has a presence uh i have a huge dilemma whether i want to display my cody with the helmet or with the head sculpt because they both look absolutely amazing um and right now i'm gonna take the helmet off and i'm gonna put the head sculpt on and we're gonna take a look at that and here we have Commander Cody without his helmet on, with the head sculpt on, and it looks absolutely fantastic. The detail is amazing, down to the little uh, pores uh, in the skin and the five o'clock shadow. Uh, the only complaint that I would have is the scar here, the iconic scar that Cody has. It's not as uh, thick uh, as I would like, and it's not as red as it was in... Uh, the movie but other than that it looks absolutely amazing uh, and yeah they did an absolutely amazing job and I really um, I'm looking forward to see how they do the other clones if they will do them uh, like this or if they will uh, change the head sculpt a little bit in any case it looks absolutely fantastic and um, yeah it's just gorgeous and for the comparison, I brought my Obi-Wan Kenobi figure from Revenge of the Sith because who else than the trusted Jedi General next to his clone commander? Um, and side by side, they look absolutely magnificent. Uh, the scale holds up. Temuera Morrison is a little bit shorter than Ewan McGregor in real life, but in this scale, it literally would be just like a millimeter of difference. Uh, so yeah, this is just, the scale is perfect. I think the uh, figure of Cody looks a little bit shorter than the figure of of Obi-Wan Kenobi, so yeah, the scale holds up and you can uh, safely display them side by side uh, in your display case if you have both of those figures. But yeah, now let's talk a little bit about uh, pros and cons, starting with the cons. Uh, the light up feature hand is absolutely not needed and could be replaced by an additional hand and a holo projector as a separate accessory. It's a gimmick and I don't get any use from it, plus because it had to be made this way, it took away from the details on the holo projector. Uh, we've seen how Hot Toys can make these holo projectors uh, on the Qui-Gon Jin figure and it could they, much more detail could be put into the, the holo projector. The scuff marks, smudges, scorch marks, scratches and other types of weathering and battle damage look much, mostly flat and, you know, fake uh, when you... 
uh, when you look at the figure up close. Well, it still looks amazing. Uh, I wish they'd give a little bit more attention uh, to details like this, especially since, you know, we pay such a high price for these figures. The blasters themselves could use a little more weathering, a little more dry brushing, a little more battle damage. They still look amazing, but you know, it's not something that would take them too long to make and it could definitely be included. Uh, the pros of the figure, however, both the helmet and the head sculpt were given extraordinary attention and look absolutely amazing although it should be a con because it makes me question what i want to display uh uh on my on my display uh way too many times the armor in general looks badass and the overall attention to detail is amazing the off-white color makes it look like it has been used for several years and the same goes for the orange on the pauldrons and the scratched up stencils the blasters i'll Bait, a little too clean looking, are superb in terms of detail, and I wish Cody had four hands so I could <laughs> display him with the entire armament. So, in conclusion, Commander Cody turned out to be a great addition to my collection, even though it's a figure of a character I don't really care about. There is no denying that he looks absolutely amazing on the shelf next to Obi-Wan Kenobi and other figures from a, this similar era. Uh, he's definitely the first of many clones I'll be buying uh, in hopes of having an entire shelf just filled with clones one day. And that would be it for today's review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, uh, subscribe and click that bell icon. It helps me a lot and you get notified of new videos. So it's a win-win situation. Again, thank you for watching and I will hear from you, see you or whatever <laughs> next time. Bye.